All right, so a little user interface comparison between our two contestants, T-Mobile's G2 and Sprint's Evo Shift 4G. Again, they both run Android 2.2 Froyo. So from that standpoint, we've got a dead heat. The big difference is on the Evo Shift 4G, you also have HTC Sense as part of the user interface. And what that means is, again, you're going to have seven different panels that you can customize. That's the same on both of the handsets. Both of them can be customized with Android widgets, bookmarks, application shortcuts, contact information, and folders. The difference is on the Evo Shift 4G, you can also add HTC widgets. This is the clock and weather widget, music widget, bookmark widget, friend stream which is a combo Twitter and Facebook widget that you get with HTC this is the weather widget on the G2 here is the weather widget on the Evo Shift 4G the calendar widget so the big difference is going to be the widgets first off secondly there's also scenes and we can change the scene you see we've got sprint scene HTC social work play and travel it's put on travel and I think we're going to end up with dual clocks It'll take a second to set it up but yeah we go we've got dual clocks now probably going to change a few we've got our email up also uh, weather stays also have footprints shows up now music is still there our friend stream has gotten smaller we've got a smaller widget for that now so you can see it changes the overall look of widgets and also the background depending on how you set it up and there's a number of different scenes that you can use as well as a clean slate so you can design it to look exactly the way you want to uh, as far as main menus are concerned, you get the nice 3D effect on the G2, which you don't on the Evo Shift 4G. Both of them have, I'll call them task managers by holding down the home key. It's going to bring up the last eight applications you had open. Uh, you can see I booted recently, so we've only got, what, five open at the moment. But tapping on any one of those will take you directly to that application. Also on the uh, Evo Shift 4G, from the home screen, tapping on the home key will bring up an overview of all seven of the panels. Use that as a shortcut. Tapping on any one will take you directly to it. Squeezing the screen together will get you back to the seven panel overview and you can tap on any one to get back where you're going. Both of them have notification bars at the top that work exactly the same way and look exactly the same way. Uh, if there was a notification there, you'd also see a clear key in the upper right hand corner on both. You can clear the notification, tap on it to go directly to it, or simply close the notification bar altogether. Something that's a little bit different in messaging. I didn't want to do that. Where's messaging? Um, it's hiding. Let me go find it. There it is. And we're going to put in a new message in both. And one of the things you'll notice on the G2 is you have swipe which does not come on the Evo Shift 4G if you use the on-screen keyboard. You get uh, the HTC Sense keypad, or keyboard, excuse me, on the Evo Shift 4G, whereas you have swipe on the G2 and also the choice of the Android keyboard as well. So a little bit more of an option with on-screen text input on the G2. Uh, as far as phone dialers, phone dialer on the Evo Shift 4G, if you start typing in someone's name, it will find them, so you get an automated dialer on the uh, G2. Not so much. C R A I G. You end up with nothing but a bunch of numbers. So you do have an automated dialer on the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, Evo Shift 4G. All right. The other thing I want to take a look at is do I have a Google search bar up here somewhere? All right. Let's get rid of a widget. You simply hold down on it. You'll feel some haptic feedback. Drop it down. Let go. And we'll go into widgets, and we want Google search. So we'll go to Google search and we'll put the all up there. What I wanted to take a look at is under settings. Whoop. Search settings on both of them, what you're capable of searching on both of the handsets because it is a little bit different. Simply because you have more areas of search with all of the widgets on uh, HTC, you also get a little larger area to search on your phone when looking for things which can be useful if uh, you happen to be that anal. <laughs> I don't know if that's the way to put it, but anyway. Uh, there's a look at the user interface on our two contestants. All right, let's compare the keypads on our two contestants today, the G2 on the left and the Evo Shift 4G on the right, and we'll start with the Evo Shift 4G. Let's talk about the mechanism first. It basically just has your real basic rails on the back that it slides in and out of that doesn't really lock which I find irksome it's pretty easy to accidentally have it open in your pocket 
which isn't one of my favorite things. Key, it's, keys themselves are raised. They have nice spacing. They're made out of what feels like a hard plastic. Backlight it works very well. It's very easy to read all the numbers and letters on all the keys. Got a shift key. Neat little light lights up when it's been engaged in the upper left corner. Same thing with the function key. You've got some nice shortcuts with the function key. You've got a dot com shortcut. You've got an at shortcut straight up, which is nice. Just to the right of the function key is a menu key which does exactly what you think it would do. There's a search key next to that. Search key, I'm not sure why too, because simply touching on any one of the keys on the keypad will open up the search application. Uh, then you've got your four-way nav pad down here in the lower right-hand corner with an enter key just above it that works in conjunction with it. And we'll go over here and hit enter and you see how it works. Not a big deal. All right, what do you say we put in a message? And let me find messaging here real quick. And one more, there it is. Oh, I keep wanting to hit the nav pad to open up applications, but it doesn't. We'll tap on here and call John on, and then let's misspell Tuesday. See what we get, and it got it, and it also capitalized it. There is, um, you can add predictive text so that that works. You can put auto caps on. You do have to go into the settings to engage that to make that work. You can also go under settings as well and set up shortcuts to uh, open different applications by simply using uh, combinations of the keys on the keyboard as well. So uh, that's a look at the Evo Shift 4G. All right, G2 mechanism. Again, you've got the Z hinge, which a lot of people, I don't know if they're crazy about it or not, but I actually like it. It's very easy to open. It doesn't open accidentally very often at all, and it feels firm as if it's locked in place when it's opened and closed. As far as the keys themselves, nice spacing. They feel like they're made of sort of a rubberized coating on top. One thing I don't like is the backlight is not very bright on the keyboard. So that was one of my gripes. As far as shortcuts, you've got a www and a .com shortcut up here in the upper uh, left along with an at key. At shortcut, you've got your alt key for accessing numbers and symbols. Your shift key, shift keys on both sides, alt keys on both sides, which is very nice. Uh, you've got a search shortcut, which is great. Also touching any of the any one of the keys will start the search. It also inserts the first letter that you typed, which I like, which the Evo Shift does not. Has three shortcut keys that you can set up any way you'd like through settings. Go into settings real quick so you can see that. Where are we? Um, did I miss it? I must have missed it. Yeah, quick keys right here. So you can set those up to launch uh, whatever applications you'd like. So that's pretty slick. As far as navigating around, instead of having a forward navigation, you've got your navigational trackpad up here on the uh, just below the display for that. And let's try putting in the same message. So we will call Jen on to U-S-S-D-A-Y. So you see I've got spell, predictive text, spell correct on. It did not pick up Tuesday. I've got auto caps on and it didn't pick John up as well. It did auto cap call. So as far as just fixing issues when you're typing, the Evo Shift 4G seemed to be, do a much better job. So there's a look and a comparison of the two keyboards on our two contestants. All right, what do you say we finish off our face off with our browser comparison between the G2 and the Evo Shift 4G? Don't forget to stop by SmartphoneMe.com, check out the written review for the winner of today's face-off, in my opinion anyway, as well as the photo and video comparison. All right, I've got both of the smartphones running off the same Wi-Fi network. Both of their browsers are set to automatic brightness. I've cleared the cache on both, and on an Able plugin, I've got them both set to on-demand. Since they're both capable of showing flash, we're not going to take a look at it unless we want to. And we'll start with SmartphoneMe.com, and we're off. Look pretty even. Evo Shift 4G looks like it's on a mission to get there first. Here comes the G2. And the winner is... Evo Shift 4G took that round. And you can see, this is what we should see all where the other ads are too. This is a flash ad. If I tap on it, you'll see it appear. There we go. So otherwise it's not going to load flash unless you tap on it. That's on demand. All right, let's uh, double tap to zoom in and obviously you're going to things are going to fit the screen a little bit better when you have a larger screen. Pinch to zoom. 
pinch to zoom. On the G2 you're going to have to tap on the reduce button or key to get it to uh, rewrap to fit the display but it does work it's just not automatic like it is on the uh, Evo Shift 4G. Both of them scroll very smooth. No issues there at all. Both of them are great. Alright, big success. Evo Shift I think took the first round and let's head on over to Engadget. Where is Engadget? There we go and we're off. And the G2 they look neck and neck. Here we go. Who's gonna take it? And it is G2 took that round. G2 got there first. Scrolling no problem. Double tap to zoom in. Double tap to zoom in. Both of them work great. Pinch to zoom, go a little further. Double tap to zoom out. Double tap to zoom out. There we go. Both of them are very smooth, no problem handling and gadget. All right, let's go over to CNN and take a look at a couple of flash videos on both of these bad boys. And we're off to CNN. We're one apiece at this point as far as load times. And let's see who gets CNN first. And it was the G2. So the G2 has taken two in a row. And let's go down here and zoom in. And we got Demi Moore. All right, we'll watch this. So that should just open up an empty box on the next screen. There we go. There's one. And we're waiting for the Evo Shift. G2 is already done. So the G2 is taking three out of four on the uh, speed test. We're still waiting on the Evo Shift 4G. Just about done. There we go. And let's kick these off at the same time. And it was pretty even. They're neck and neck. G2 is first. All right, so there's a look at playing a flash video on both of them. And again, it was pretty herky-jerky at the beginning. Once it got it spooled in, it seemed to run it just fine. But it, both of them seemed to have some of an issue as far as getting it loaded and playing it smoothly at the beginning. All right, so there's our face-off uh, between these two. Again, stop by SmartphoneMe.com. Check out the written review. See who I pick as today's winner. As far as a browser contest, I would have to give that to the uh, G2. It seemed to load web pages quicker. Also seemed to load the uh, flash video quicker than the Evo Shift 4G. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful, so take care.